Sunday, I'm going to be working on this message in the congregation against all hope ministries. I want to feel God. I have run into this situation where Christians are constantly clamoring to feel God's presence. They need something to validate that God is working in their life, or they need something to validate that God is in a church. Going by feelings and emotions and looking for signs is a terrible way to judge if God is working in your life or working in a church. I have seen that God works most when you don't see anything happening or feel anything. A matter of fact, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 and 2 that the ancients were commended for their faith. They weren't commended for any type of mystical experience or sensationalism. They were commended for their full trust in the Lord and His work. They completely confided in the Word of God. That's what they put their trust in. That's what they lived by. That's what they declared. In our day and time, there's like a two-tier system of Christians within the church. Those who have all these visible manifestations of God, they seem to be the superior ones, and those who do not. And I have seen that those who do not have these manifestations of God, quote-unquote, working in their lives, they seek God, they pray, they read their Bibles, and they go to church on a regular basis. They barely miss church. And I see that God is at work in the latter part. Not in the ones that are always looking for signs or claiming that these wonders are working in them. I have seen for throughout the years an abuse, a great abuse. And there has not been many that were true. So therefore, I want to teach, biblically, that we should not be looking to feel God. What I want to help the brother or sister grow thereby in is trusting the Lord and His Word. That is your anchor, and that will keep you safe until you make it home to heaven. May God bless you. I hope you join us. I want to feel God this coming Sunday.